with the chemical reaction, this liquid metal becomes an engineering mechanism, forcing the two electromagnetic pyramids together, causing an anti-gravity shockwave, but only for a few minutes. After that, everything that is up will come crashing down. The first thing that I thought of when it was coming up with set pieces with this movie, we got to have an anti-gravity battle. Like, I wanted to have the monsters fighting in an anti-gravity environment. Yes! Yes! She's protecting the portals! The zero gravity battle in the film was actually the first thing that Adam pitched to us when he had this idea to set more of the film in Hollow Earth. And to spend more time specifically in Kong's POV in the journey of the film. In Godzilla vs. Kong, we established that gravity doesn't quite function the way it does for us on the surface within Hollow Earth. That's an opportunity to get Godzilla to do some Showa-era crazy stuff. And for Kong to do some wild things that you've never seen before. I'm so excited about that sequence. I mean, it's what you want to see as a fan, right? Titans fighting in a way that you've never seen them fight before. They're fighting upside down. What's up is down. No, the engine's out. The gravity surge must have taken out the power battery thing. I have to say that in this movie, we had a lot of challenging sequences. The zero gravity battle was probably one of the most complex because there's so much going on. Really, the visual development of the film pushed towards this one amazing sequence. As a visual reference for this sequence, we spent a lot of time looking at this giant crystal cavern that was discovered in an incredibly deep mine in Mexico. It's such a challenge to try to find new ways for monsters to fight that you haven't seen before. The zero gravity gave us sort of license to really bring out a grounded version of the absurdity of the Showa films where Godzilla can fly through the air and drop kick and stuff. When I first read the script, you know, you read this paragraph where maybe in three lines they describe gravity disappear and there are titans fighting zero gravity and go and figure that out. <laughs> but you have to cover like nine minutes of movie. The scene starts that we are in the Pyramid Square in the Malenka village, where trappers come with the heave and save uh, Dr. Andrew, Bernie, the Iwi Queen. Ah! Your carriage awaits! I'm gonna kiss you on the mouth! They take him off, but at the same time, the zero G fight starts. single instant, all the Titans are floating. They're pushing off the walls, pushing off boulders. We get to see Kong and Godzilla and Suko and Shimo and Scar King figure out how to combat each other in a totally weightless environment. Almost even better than the, the action themselves is the expectation of the action, the lead up to it and the build. The moment of them charging into battle together and the Scar King, Shimo, Godzilla and Kong all leaping to each other in slow motion. You get the close up of all the monsters roaring. That's the goal of this movie. We have Scar King, we have Godzilla, Shimo, Kong, Suko fighting where like everything is going out of control. The zero gravity battle is like, I would say 95% full CG. It was an intense sequence. It was fun to work with, but it was complex. <laughs> It turned out to be a really show-stopping sequence, especially on a big screen. Through being able to utilize the zero gravity, it allowed us to be able to do things that you would not normally be able to do. At the end of the day, we're here to cut loose and have a lot of fun.